Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas and you're watching Fine Tuning. So today we're going to talk about stickers. A lot of my guitars have stickers on them, and I usually get one of three types of comments about that. The first one would be, oh my gosh, why would you put that sticker on that guitar? You've ruined its resale value. Why would you do that? It's hideous. The second comment would be, what is that on the guitar? Is it, is it something in the finish? And then the third comment would be, oh, I know what that is. I see what you did there. So why do I put stickers on my guitars? Well, I'm fairly certain I got the original idea from Stevie Ray Vaughan. So, uh, of course, if you've seen Stevie's kind of number one Stratocaster, the Sunburst, um, his pit guard later on had his initials, stickers of his initials, or that, at least they look like stickers, uh, on the pit guard. And I remember seeing that really young, years before I started playing guitar, and thinking, oh, that's like what a guitar looks like. It's like your guitar, and you make it your guitar by doing something to it, right? So I think that just kind of clicked in my head like that. Um, and then when I got a little bit older and I had already started playing guitar by this point, um, then I saw Tom Morello, because I was really into Rage Against the Machine, still am, and really into Rage Against the Machine, and uh, I saw his guitars with like his artwork on them, you know, stickers, paintings, marker drawings, whatever, and I thought, wow, that's so cool, like he's expressing himself not just through his music, but also through the way his instrument looks. And then later on still, um, I started to get into like Alter Bridge and stuff, and I noticed that like a lot of Mark Tremonti's touring guitars would have like a sticker on them somewhere. It was kind of like that guitar's mark, you know. And at some point, I kind of just thought, yeah, I can do that. I'm like that seems like a cool thing to do, and it's an interesting way to sort of take your instrument and really make it your own. Like to really, it's almost like putting a brand on it, if that makes sense. Like making it not just a Gibson SG, but it's my Gibson SG. But I know what some of you are thinking, Lucas. Doesn't that harm the finish? And it can, you know, depending on what the finish is made of and what the adhesive on the sticker is like, it can harm the finish. It might not. Um, but most of the time, if I put a sticker on a guitar, it's because I don't plan on getting rid of it. So resale value is not really an issue I'm concerned with. So as long as it's not physically damaging the guitar or making it look ugly to my eyes, because remember, that's what matters, it's my guitar, then it's not something I'm concerned with. Also, and I can't stress this enough, guitars are tools, okay? They're not like holy relics from the Crusades or something, like, they're just tools. Now, I wouldn't put a sticker on a 1959 Les Paul, okay, because it's a piece of history at that point. You know, there are certain guitars that I wouldn't do anything to because of the historical value of the guitar if I were to be so lucky to own one, which I will not. But if we're talking about, like, normal modern-ish type guitars, then like, yeah, I mean, it's just a tool. So what do the stickers mean? Usually I like to complement the name or the aesthetic of the guitar in some way. Um, some stickers have a particularly sort of deep or personal meaning. Um, some are themed, and some of them are just like what I would call it little time capsules to like whatever I'm into at the time, games, movies, TV, comics, whatever. So I'll show you a few examples. So this is my Greco EG-800, it's a Les Paul copy made in Japan in 1977. And this guitar has a really special place in my heart because it just does a thing and I really like this guitar a lot. Um, so I determined that I thought this guitar had earned a sticker, but I didn't want to put one like on the top necessarily because I really like the way that this looks. So instead I opted to put one on the back plate. So what I have here is a sticker that's says, uh, Made Latte. See if you can see that. Alright, and that's a reference to an anime that I watched with my wife called, uh, Made Sama. And, uh, basically, I bought this guitar, like I said, from Japan, and the gentleman that I bought it from, his name was, uh, Shinya Mizawa, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly. But the first four letters of his, I guess, last name, um, are Misa, M-I-S-A. And the main character of Maid Sama, who works at Maid Latte, her name is Misa. And so I thought, oh, cool, I'll name the guitar Misa, you know, Japanese culture, everything, just, you know, me being, me being a geek. So then I thought when this had sort of earned its sticker, then I thought, okay, Maid Latte sticker. This is my 2007 PRS Tremonti signature guitar. So when I got this guitar, uh, basically I just really wanted a Tremonti, I didn't really care what color it was or what it looked like or anything. I just wanted that guitar. And this was the one that came up on Craigslist that I could afford. Just a regular old black Tremonti. So no pretty flame top, nothing like that. And I got the guitar, absolutely loved it, still absolutely love it. It has 
had all kinds of work do, t done to it. This is like the guitar that I taught myself how to do tech work on. So I'm um, already bonded with it just from that. But I also did lots and lots and lots of gigs with Intertwined on this guitar. And at the time, when I got this guitar, I thought, man, it could really use something to brighten it up a little bit because it's just a black guitar with a rosewood fingerboard and it's not like particularly hot looking on stage. This is me being like 20 and that's what I'm thinking. Um, so I thought, I'm going to put a sticker on it, right? And at the time, the game that I was playing, the video game that I was playing like for hours at a time, was the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. And so I got on the internet and I searched down and I found a decal of the Daedric letter for O, um, which looks like a gate to Oblivion. This is kind of like the logo for that game. And for whatever reason, I just saw it and thought, that's it, that's the sticker. And I put it on the guitar and it's been there ever since. This is my PRS David Grissom model from 2015. This is actually one of the only guitars that I've ever bought brand new. I have maybe bought like three, maybe four guitars brand new in my whole life. And this is one of them. I was working for a PRS dealer, so I was able to get it at a discount, which is how I was able to afford it. And, and also I was able to make payments on it. So, <laughs> so there you go, that's how I was able to afford it. Um, but this is like my all time favorite guitar, just in general. Like if I had to just pick one guitar to play and I could never play anything else, it would be this one. This has my signature pickups in it. Um, but the sticker on this one, I get asked about this one a lot. This is a lighthouse. It may not look like it exactly, but it's a silhouette of a lighthouse, and there's a couple of birds flying around. Why a lighthouse? Well, when I was a teenager, uh, I started going to my church at the time. I started going to the youth group, and the youth group was called the Beacons. And uh, the little house next to the church that we had our like sort of evening weekend meetings at was called the Lighthouse, because the group was called the Beacons. Clever, I know. But anyway, um, so the youth group leader was a wonderful, amazing woman named Shasta. And uh, she recently passed away from cancer. And that was really hard for me um, because I just, I, she had been so influ influential to me in a very kind of difficult time in my life as a teenager. My parents were splitting up all this stuff. So she was a huge, huge deal to me. And so when she passed away, I could think of no more kind of like fitting tribute for me, at least as a guitar player, than to put something on my favorite guitar that I play every day and all the time, uh, then something like this. This would be the lighthouse. So this is my constant remi reminder of Shasta on sort of my uh, favorite guitar, I guess. And one more. This is my 2017 Gibson Firebird T. I have wanted a Firebird since I saw Nick Perry for the first time play with Silvertide back in 2004 when they were opening for Van Halen. And uh, immediately I was just like, dude, I gotta have a Firebird. <laughs> so a couple of years ago, I finally got one, or a year ago, I don't know, it hasn't been that long. Finally got one. Took me a little while to like really get used to the way it felt, but then all of a sudden it just clicked with me one day and I was like, oh yeah, I get it now. So I love this guitar. And this is an example of like, the guitar needs a name, but I can't decide what the name should be, right? I can't figure it out. I'm like, what is the guitar's name? I don't know, but it is something. I don't wanna just call it my Firebird. So, uh, I went back and I started playing uh, Resident Evil because the uh, the new like Resident Evil 2 remake came out and I forgot like oh yeah I really liked this game a lot when I was a kid and so I started playing the new one and then I was like I know it Claire that's it because Claire Redfield from Resident Evil 2 and so when I determined the name I was like that's the sticker right so what I did as you can see here is I have this is the uh, kind of thing the little picture that's on Claire's jacket in the game. It's just like almost like a bomber type logo like you'd see on one of the old World War II era bombers and it just says made in heaven and it's got an angel with some bombs on it you know. <laughs> it's just a, just the classic kind of and I thought with the aesthetic of this guitar it looks like an old airplane or something. I thought how fitting. So this is Claire my Firebird and that's why the sticker's there. So you might have noticed that I tend to go for stickers that are not like what I would call immediately obvious as to what they mean. Like you either need to know me, or you need to know the guitar, or you need to be like a member of that fandom, whatever it is, then you'll pick it out and that's like, I said, that's the third comment, or they're like, oh, I see what you did there. That's what those stickers usually are for me. It's just, I like to be a little mysterious. So you might be wondering, where do I get those stickers? Where can you get those stickers? I'll tell you. 
first of all, let me just say, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I, this is just legitimately where I get the stickers from, and so I just wanted to tell you. I'll leave a link in the description. So uh, there's a site called Redbubble. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. And they have this massive collection of like digital artists and people who are extremely talented. And they make images that you can put on t-shirts, mugs, stickers, whatever. Like a million different things. Magnets, probably. Um, and so one day I was looking for stickers and I discovered the website and I thought, Oh, this is awesome! Because there's such a huge catalog of like really deep cut nerdy stuff that I'm really into. So um, usually you can buy like, I think it's like 20 of them, or it might be 10, I can't remember if it's 10 or 20 uh, stickers, and when you get to a certain amount, they're like all half off. So that's what I usually do is I buy them sort of in like bulk, I guess. So I just kind of go through and like type some stuff I think is cool, or if I'm looking for something specific, and then I'll get a whole bunch of different stickers. And at some point, I will use those stickers for something. So anyway, here's a few, like um, Electric Mayhem, bonus points if you know what that is. Here's some Avatar The Last Airbender stuff. More nerdy things. Here's some uh, Outer Worlds and Community. Uh, let's see. Here's a Dolan meme and uh, Missing No from Pokemon, the first generation. You know, just random nerdy stuff. The Mass Effect, Paragon, and Renegade symbols. Things like that. It's all lame, nerdy stuff. But it's what I like, so... Yeah, uh, check out Redbubble if you want to find some like stickers for different things. Or like I said, I think most of these things you can get put on uh, t-shirts and hoodies and hats and stuff too. Like they, they just basically take the images and they put them on whatever. It's really, really nifty. So in the comments, let me know um, what stickers do you like on the ones that you saw on my guitars or if you've seen something else that you thought was cool. Um, do you put stickers on your instruments? I'm curious, am I the only one that does this? <laughs> or like, do other people do it too? Or do you decorate them in any other way? I mean, you know, like a decorative strap or you draw on it or paint on it or whatever. I'm just curious. So let me know in the comments. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you uh, liked this video, then you, of course, can leave a like. You can subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Or you can go down to the description and you can buy me a coffee or become a patron. Any of those things are helpful. And until next time, I'll catch you later.